Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Hey there, welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited to be scrutinizing an additional Lindy Hop video today. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I've been looking to get into this video, the Champions Cup Finals from Swim Out Costa Brava 2019. Let's get into it. And here we go. All right, let's do this. This better be good. I'm excited about this one. I was gonna say, there has to be some excitement. Here we go. Ah, that was cool. Uh. Come on! Yeah, I like that footwork. I saw that. Yes! Yes! <clears throat> yes! In your face! <laughs> he was like, come at me. Yes, I like that. Yes. Okay, so this is it. Those are the couples. This is round two. This is the critical round. Do not slack, guys. This is this is the one. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yes! Yes! 
Yes! <laughs> that aerial was that was that was tricky. I wasn't sure if that was on purpose or if that was like legitimate. They got three rounds. No, this is still round two. Okay. <clears throat> Funny ending. <laughs> Boom! Yes, guys! I was entertained! Let's talk about this one! Pizza with family at lunch is great. Alright, guys, I'm back. I had to get some lunch. My family had some nice pizza. And now I had to watch that video again just to get myself back into the mode of what I felt watching it. Because that felt great. That felt great. There were three couples to me that stood out the most. Now, most of you know how I actually like to judge competitions. And I love to put it out there on every video because I don't know if this is your first time tuning in with me. But if it is, here's how I like to judge videos. Here's how I like to judge them. And even when I'm in person, this is how I actually assess what I consider good Lindy Hop and bad Lindy Hop. First, I have to recognize everything is subjective. I'd say 75% of it is. It's very, very subjective. And there's a small part of Lindy Hop, just a really small part that most people would never say, it represents 25% of the objectivity of Lindy Hop. That's what I go to first. Because all three people in the top three, first, second, and third, will have this quality and everybody else will suffer a little bit and that's the word control. Some people like to use the word technique. I don't like to use that word because you can manipulate the Lindy Hop technique different ways, but you can still accomplish the Lindy Hop multiple ways, right? So the technique is just not one technique. There is something behind the technique. I like to call it control. So here's what I mean by the word control because if I don't define that, people are like, well, what's that mean, right? Control for me, simple. I got to see a lead, initiate something to a follower, and both of them not get in the way of the other. So if the lead initiates something, I want to see shh, silence with their body. And then I want to see the follower speak. I don't want to see the follower speak when the lead's not initiating anything, right? So it works both ways. So if I can interpret that visually, I can assume that they have good technique, but I don't know the way it feels. This could be like, it could be the worst dance that you're dancing with. They're squeezing each other's hands, but visually speaking, it looks like they're in control of the technique. And they might be in control of the technique. They just might have uh, poor ways of handling the energy with their partner. Now, the third place couple for me that had that the most, they had the, the, the control part of their dancing is what highlighted the most uh, value for me uh, with them was, uh, we got to go back and look, is the couple that had, the, the gentleman had a gray hat and his partner did not have a gray hat. His partner had a, oh, what was their, her little, her, her outfit? I loved it. 
It was yeah. She had like a like a navy bluish. Just had a little cut right here, like a little pearl cut. For me, uh, they were third place. Let me make sure that's him because a lot of people look the same on video. No, that's not who I'm talking about. Who I'm talking about? The gentleman had uh, a light gray hat. He had like a blue, uh, like golf shirt, brown pants. She had a black shirt. It was kind of short. Short sleeves and gray pants. For me, they got third place. They had the control part down. That's the part that I look for first. And in fact, all three of the people that made first, second, and third had the control part down. Everybody else had it, but it wasn't as appealing. I look at it and I go, okay, they need some more work on it. They just look like they're not completely comfortable with it. But this couple, along with the other three people, had control. Now there's a reason I put them in third place. And that reason is because they did not have the other two qualities as much as the second and first place couple. So now we got to get into the second and third and first place couple, right? So for me, second place, this was a, and they, they almost pulled it off for me. They almost pulled it off. Second place for me was the couple, she had like a dress that was striped going down he had like a tannish hat and like a burgundy shirt with brown pants what they had for me was timing and control they had awesome timing like when the music was going to do something different when the phrase was going to change they had some unique choreography and so did the person the, the couple in first place the reason i give this couple Second place is because certain things that they were doing that was choreographed wasn't really that tight. You could see that there were loose ends somewhere. Things were slipping in where you could tell the idea was great, but they kind of got disconnected sometimes. Meaning that I could not see the intentionality actually happen the way they wanted it to. I could still see that there was a little interruption. And so I can't forgive those things in this kind of competition. If you've got choreography, you have to come out swinging and it has to be super tight. It has to be tight to get first place. Because in this case, the couple that had first place for me, this couple, uh, I believe, yes, it is who I thought it is. Ugh, that's right. She had yellow hair. I know these dancers personally. Uh, Hyung Jung Choi and Felipe, they crushed it. And what I loved most about what they did, they not only had control and it was better than everybody else's because it was super tight. There was an aggressive nature to their movement that was punching the beats. When it's fast like this, I want to see like a tightness, a rigorous control of the technique matching both with the follower and the leader. Not where the leader's moving hard and the follower's just like, I'm going to take all day. Or the follower's doing all this and the leader's just like, you know what I mean? They were both together, totally so solid and tight. Now, what made it the distinction for me, what gave them first place in my mind was the fact that I can lead most of their moves. It wasn't all choreographed. In fact, I doubt it was choreographed. I'll ask them about it. But I doubt it was choreographed because most of the moves you can lead if you've got solid control. And they had solid control. So to make social dancing look like a choreographed performance, that is a gift. That is real dancing for me. Because there is that ongoing dichotomy of performance, which again, the lead and the follower know what's going to happen next. And then we have social dancing, which is my expertise. It's the part that is real for me where the leader knows what's going to happen next and the follower will know when it actually happens. That's the beauty of call and response. It's much like the music. And similar, not 100% like the music. But I love that component more than the performance part because it's actually harder to do. So if you can make your social dancing look just as impactful as a performance that's choreographed, that is some of the top dancing out there in the world. And for me, th these two, they took the edge by a hair. I almost gave first place.
to the couple that had the, the gentleman had the hat and she had the pinstripes. The only reason that Felipe and Hyung Jong Choi got first for me was because they had all three of those things tight. They had control, they had timing, and they also had creativity. Now I will say, I preferred, I prefer the particular moves from the second and third place couple. I liked some of their moves better. I really did. I preferred some of their uh, ways of organizing the sets, the choreography, or even if it was lead follow. That was my personal preference. But I can't just judge them on my personal preference because that's not actually fair to what they're trying to do, right? That's like me judging a movie for what I wanted it to do as opposed to what their intentions were as a director and a writer. Of course, there's some basic movie structures and formats that make a message of a movie more appealing to the viewer. And that's what I alluded to with that small objective part called control. But I'm not going to judge a, a dancer in, in a movie based on what I thought they should have done. But I will say the stuff that first the couple in the first place did was still tight. It was still tight. But I just would have liked, you know, I liked the second place and third place couples in terms of what they were actually doing. So anyway, that's my opinion on this, guys. <laughs> Whew, this was this was smoking. I loved it because all three of these dancers had different personalities, these, these couples, right? Uh, I, I, for me, the third place couple was kind of, they were aggressive, but it was passively aggressive. You know, they would do some moves and they would, I, they would kind of look, look at the judges or look to see who was looking. I, I remember that, that personality when I would compete. It's like, uh, I don't know if you all saw the uh, Infinity, uh, not Infinity War, Endgame. Endgame. It was like Captain America, not Captain America, the other Captain America, uh, Thor, and um, Chris Pratt's character from Guardians of the Galaxy, like arguing over who's going to control the ship, that kind of passive aggressiveness. Sometimes I see that in people's dancing, and I like it. It's really funny. The second place couple, they had this playful nature. They were just fun, having fun, but it was still like, come at me, bro, we're having fun. It was more like a b-boy jam to me. That's what I felt when I watched them. And then the first place couple, they were just aggressive. Felipe was like, I, it was just a bunch. I got, I, I received his Lindy Hop with a little bit of scorn. <laughs> In between the sets, he's like looking at everybody, just like into this, feeling the music. And that, that feeling for me makes me buy into it. Because I came from hip hop. I came from that world of... It was kind of aggressive to be like, hey, what can what can you do that's better than mine? And doggone it, I'm going to beat you. That's what I love about this particular format. And that's what I also love about Lindy Hop because it's a little nicer. It's a little polished to where there's, you know, no one's getting shot at and, you know, nobody's throwing up gang signs and nobody, <laughs> none of that, right? Lindy Hop's a little bit more passive aggressive. It's a little bit more passive aggressive. But I liked the first place uh, couple's energy. So tell me, who did you think won this competition? This is just my opinion, right? I'm a judge. I'm a professional dancer. This is my opinion. I want to see what you liked, especially if you're a new dancer. I want to see what was appealing to your eyes. You know, what was it that jumped out that made you go, wow, I, I want to do Lindy Hop because I saw something that moved me emotionally. Now, um, if you guys are wanting to do stuff like this, like, Competing, I would encourage you to do it. Competitions are healthy if you have a solid reason for doing it. Here are not the solid reasons to do it. I just want to win first place. Well, that's not clear. Because what happens when you get first place? You didn't really elaborate why you wanted to do it. Is it because you want to feel better about yourself? Is it because you want positive affirmation? You want people to just praise you for accomplishing something? Spell it out. <clears throat> because as long as you don't spell it out, you're going to end up doing it for the wrong reasons. First, I would say do it for the love of the dance. If you, a lot of people come into Lindy Hop for other reasons. Some get in because it's a girl, right? And then they end up staying in because they fall in love with the dance. 
Some get in because of social justice. And then they end up eventually leaving because they either never really get good at the dance or or they eventually fall in love with the dance and go, you know what? Forget all that other stuff. This is about dancing or playing an instrument. So decide why you want to do a competition. Don't do it for the wrong reasons or you will forever be frustrated <laughs> because some judges just may not spell out why they actually judge the way they judge and they have a whole lot of power lots of power unlimited power to persuade everyone's opinion about your dancing they could just go like this oh, don't like you don't like your dancing wait a minute right that can really make you mad if you're competing for the wrong reasons so when i used to compete let me tell you what i used to do i used to compete against myself i would say what can i do now without having any moves in my mind to lead on my partner. Because last time I had a couple of moves. Let me see what I could do. And those end up being my best performances, right? And more and the more I would push myself, the better I would get for the goal I was looking for, which was basically my goal was to take social dancing and try to make it look like a performance. So I would encourage you guys, get out there and do some competitions for the right reasons. Get yourself fired up about swing dancing and that alone you will you will go through a transformation that will change you and will make you inspired to get better and to inspire other people to get better so with that said folks um let me know what you thought in the comment section about this competition if you want to get some creative moves and be inspired to even put into some of your competition check out some of my courses below this is all i do throughout the day is i go in my studio and i create new ways to do lindy hop for our online swing dance community there's dancers all over the world that's attending our school to get inspiration they're not only doing that but there's some of them that just say hey look how does this work in the most simple language where I don't always have to be taking lessons from teachers all the time. I didn't have to do that when I rode a bike. I just got on and kind of figured it out, but ultimately it was pedaling, balance, and steering, right? So we demystify Lindy Hop so you can have that kind of language, pedaling, balance, and steering, so you can fix yourself along your journey. So check out my Fundamentals membership if that's you. You're just wanting to have a streamlined approach so you can maximize your swing dancing curve quickly and not have to take years to do it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. I, those are my winners. That's what I loved about it. Um, if you haven't checked out this event, it seems like a pretty cool event. I wasn't there. Don't know if there was any meanies there. Um, but check it out. Swim out Costa Brava. Sounds like that's in Spain. Uh, I'm surprised I've never been there because I go everywhere in Spain. But anyway, guys, I will see you all in one of my classes online or in the next reaction video. Take care.